Here are all the parts we're going to need for this project. Observer 2 input. We're going to need two of these, one for each garage. We're only going to be using one of the inputs on these. I need the Director Plus. The Director Plus has a beeper inside, so we're going to use that to alert when the garage has been left open, and we'll use the LEDs to alert when the garage is open or closed. And then we'll need two switches, any type really, as long as they fit in the application. And we're going to need some wire to connect the switches. To connect the switches, I'll be connecting one end to the 5 volt connection and one end to one of the two inputs. This way when the switch closes, the input will register. It's a good idea to make this type of circuit fail safe. And what I mean by that is when the garage door is open, I want the circuit to be open circuit. And that means if something goes wrong in the wiring, it will presumably go open circuit. That will cause Air Director to register open garage door so that we can investigate the problem. If we had the garage door closing open the circuit, then a failure could be registered as a closed garage door. You would not know something's wrong. You might not be able to see, but there are markings for normally open, normally closed, and common. So we're going to be using the normally open connection. Okay, the hard part's done. I now have two switches with wire pigtails and I can now attach these to the uh, two input observers. Okay, that's all there is to it. The next step is programming. So let's go over to the computer. So the first step is to click on the director and you can find the example code on our website and uh, that'll give you a head start. So the first thing we do in the code is we have to initialize the two objects which are going to represent the two inputs. I'm kind of going to call the first one garage one and the second one garage two. And you have to find the unique ID which is on the back of the modules or you can scan it with Bluetooth. And we're going to do an infinite while loop and we're going to read the state of each input. There's also a count variable, which is how many times it's been triggered, but here we're just going to use a state. And then we're just for now going to print out that which garage is open and which one is closed. And when we reset the director, you can see garage one is closed, and now I'm just activating the switch with my hand to test this on my table. And you can see it updates very fast. Now we're going to make that the red LED turn on while the reading is happening and then off again. This way we can tell when the code has locked up if there's no communication. And now you can see me try it out. I've added the blue and orange LEDs as indicators and you can see them activate. I ended up replacing one of the switches with a different type to better suit my garage. And you can see how I mounted the observer on the side there and just plug it in to a USB power supply and this is how the latch closes. You can see the way I mounted the switch it makes sure that the latch is actually engaged and the garage is not merely closed halfway. And here you can see on the other garage I just detect when it comes all the way down at the bottom and again mount on the side and powered from the USB power bank. Now for a demonstration how this works. I've got the director flashing over there and I'm going to push the garage door opener and you can hear the garage door open and the beeper comes on and the light comes on. And I'm going to close the garage door. There we go. 